Marking out where your stitches will go is an important part of preparing for your saddle stitching. The first thing we need to do is to score a line on the edge of our leather. This is where it is very handy to have a piece of scrap leather so you can test your dividers and you can check the distance of your dividers. Mine are already set to a distance of four millimetres so I know that as I go along the edge of my leather I am scoring a line that is exactly four millimetres from the edge. I'm also going to score a line on the reverse because this will tell me where my stitching awl needs to come out when I'm piercing the holes. So again I am just running my dividers along the edge there and I can see very easily see now where I will be bringing out my stitching awl and where I will be piercing from. The next thing we need to do is to use a pricking iron to mark out our stitches. Now these come in a variety of different sizes. The standard is seven stitches to the inch but you can also get more stitches or less stitches depending on the type of project that you are doing. If we just have a little look at this you can see that the pricking iron um, looks a little bit like a fork and it has diagonal prongs. Now those are very important when we come to mark out our stitches so we know where we'll be stitching but we also want our stitching to look neat and consistent. So let me just explain. On my diagram here this is the edge of the leather and the blue line is the score line that we've just drawn. The green diagonal lines here are those that are made by the pricking iron. Now the stitching awl that we're going to use has got a diamond shaped blade and that is it's quite a flat diamond but when we stitch poke it through the leather to create the hole for the needle to go through we want to make sure that we have a consistent line and length in order to get our stitches um, to help our stitches sit nice and neatly. On my awl I've got a black mark and that black mark means that when I'm pushing the awl through the leather the black mark remains vertical and that will mean that the angle of my awl is going from the bottom left to the top right on that diagonal and my stitches will all be uh, consistent. This is just a slight exaggerated diagram here but this is the blade and this is the black mark that stays vertical. Now, in practice, what we want to do is to start at one end of our leather, wherever you're going to start, and I'm stood up and I am looking over my pricking iron, and I can see that the top of the prongs is lined up with my line. Now, I'm going to then stand my pricking iron up to make sure that it's completely vertical, and I'm going to give it a gentle tap with my hammer. Now this isn't to make a massive hole and go all the way through the leather. This is just enough so that I can see where the stitches are going to go. I'm going to overlap and do my next lot of stitches. So I'm overlapping by at least two, overlapping by at least two prongs and I am going to do exactly the same again, make sure that everything is the top of the prongs are lined up with the score line, bring my iron to a vertical position, the camera will shake because the camera is attached to the table but I'm just going to tap that and I can see that I've got some nice impressions there. Now I'm approaching the end and what I don't want to do is sort of run off so I'm just going to overlap by three prongs this time and repeat. 
sometimes you may have a project that involves going around a corner or managing a curve and a, the technique with your pricking iron is essentially the same but you just have to make a slight adjustment when you are marking the stitches in order to accommodate the sort of the, the length that's required to the corner and to get you around the corner so that stitching will still look nice and even. So I started off in the same way overlapping, making my impressions, but as I got closer to the corner I started to tilt my iron slightly so I wasn't making a full inch worth of impressions and that enabled me just to walk towards my corner a little bit more so that I could get the, a nice balanced number of stitches. So sometimes just that change of angle can mean that you can get and sort of even out the stitches and make them look um, nice and even which will be great when you are sewing. One last tip when you are hammering and you are using and you're marking your stitches remember we're not going through but equally you want to make sure that if you're on a workbench you have uh, perhaps one of the legs of the workbench underneath where you are hammering it, or if you're on a table you make sure that you're over a table leg otherwise you can find that the surface that you're hammering can be a little bit bouncy and that can be very frustrating when you are trying to mark out your stitches. So always have something firm underneath you.